All right, Tony, thank you. Once again, we do begin with breaking news here this morning. Former Washington, D.C. mayor, civil rights activist. Of course, we're speaking about Marion Barry. He has died. Officials have not yet released an official cause of death. He had been hospitalized briefly on Saturday, and he died just a few hours after being released from the hospital. He served four terms as mayor of the district. He was reelected to the city council then in 2012. He uh, did a taped TV interview with Oprah Winfrey. That will still be airing uh, coming up tonight at 9 o'clock. And Barry leaves behind a wife and son. He was 78 years old. And the current Washington, D.C. mayor, Vincent Gray, says he plans to work with Barry's family to plan official ceremonies in the, in the district in his honor. And joining us now over the phone is a longtime friend of Mayor Barry's, Ron Moten. Moten is a community activist, a longtime friend of Mayor Barry's, an author. And uh, first of all, Ron, you were at the hospital last night. So what is the family saying about what happened to the mayor? Basically, he was released from the hospital. This is what they said at the press conference. He, he was released at the, from the uh, hospital. Uh, he went to see his son, and then uh, going home, getting out the car, he collapsed. And his uh, his driver took him in the house, called the ambulance. His wife arrived. arrived. They took him to the hospital. Uh, they tried to uh, save him. He was alive when he got to the hospital, too. Uh, and then he later passed um, uh, sometime during the 12 o'clock hour. Well, we are very sorry for your loss, Ron. You have known the mayor for a long time. There will be... A lot of remembrances about his time in public office coming in the days ahead, but you mentioned to me over the phone before we uh, came on the air that his civil rights work is really what you hope people will focus on in the days to come. Yes, there will be no Murray and Burry in politics without the Murray and Burry in the movement, as well as other uh, civil rights activists who opened doors, like Martin Luther King who opened doors for people who are in politics, uh, who ended Brown versus uh, Board of Education. He has a rich history the young African Americans need to learn so that they can become productive citizens and know that they have something to live positively for. Um, and Burry stood, you know, he had ups and downs, but he stood for those of us who made mistakes. He even wrote me a letter back in 1996 that kept me on the streets when I was doing great work in the start of my activism and doing a lot of great things in D.C. We were working with returned citizens, people who came home from prison like, prison like mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. started the summer jobs program. He did a lot of things in D.C., Started a lot of development in D.C., like the downtown of Verizon Center. Started a lot of the growth. And, you know, people could relate to him because he seemed like a, even though he was a rock star, he still seemed like a down to earth person. You know, so, I mean, a lot of people don't understand him, but a lot of us do understand him. And he really, it seems like he really changed your life and helped set you on a different course. But you say you and the mayor didn't always agree, and he gave you some good advice about not taking things personally in, oh, uh, in politics. Oh, yes, he right? told me. He said, listen, in, in politics, you have no permanent enemies and no permanent allies. I remember, remember one time I was supporting Adrian Fenty. He was supporting Mayor Gray, and we were on Fox 5 in D.C. debating. Me and him were debating for our two candidates. And he said, yeah, Ronald Moat is my friend, but he's not my political friend right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's an important distinction. He certainly, uh, he certainly had a colorful history there in D.C., but uh, I think we can all agree that his love for the district and the people within the district, uh, well, no well, one's I'll questioning tell you, the only that place that might be big enough to have his, his uh, service will be the Verizon Center. We did one for Chuck Brown mm -hmm. in D.C. We had to use the convention center, and that was over 10,000 people. I'm sure that uh, Murray and Bird will have a station in Schumer, and it will, he will be remembered, and he, he definitely will be missed. Absolutely, to potentially an overflow crowd there, if that is uh, indeed one of the places where they choose to have services for him. Uh, Ron, I, I want to thank you again. Thank you for your time here this morning, remembering your friend, the mayor, Marion Barry. Uh, we thank you. We appreciate you. I'm, I'm sorry again for your loss. I know it's... Uh, Thank you. This Thank you for thinking topic. about us down in D.C. Absolutely. And, and, we, and in Mississippi, where he's from. We're, we are, we are all neighbors. We are so neighbors has, for sure, especially on a day like today. <laughs> yes, indeed. Once again, Ron Moten, good friend community activist. Thank you again for your time here this morning. Folks, uh, throughout Baltimore, as we said, we are neighbors in the D.C. area. They're posting condolences and memories of Marion Barry. Let's take a look at some of those. We are on our Banjo app this morning where we're sharing some of those, some of those photos, some of those tweets. A sad day in D.C., a sad day for Marion Barry. Rest in peace, indeed. Got a couple more. That's a good photo. Looking forward to New Horizons this year and a lot of folks 
a lot of folks remembering posting some great photos. There's one, uh, Mary Berry proved humans are imperfect. Indeed, he did, but are still capable of doing plenty of good in the world. That's absolutely right. Do we have time for another one? A photo from back in the day. Someone saying, some will remember him for the negative, many for the positive, however. And this is uh, a tweet from the Reverend Al Sharpton. He tweeted out this morning, saddened to hear of the passing of former D.C. Mayor Marion Barry, a true activist all of his life. I knew him for 30 years. Rest in peace, Mr. Mayor. This one from the mayor-elect, Muriel Bowser. Here was a statement she released. Mary, mayor Marion Barry gave a voice to those who need it most and lived his life in service to others. I, along with all Washingtonians, am shocked and deeply saddened by his passing. We send our condolences to Cora Masters Barry. That is, of course, the late mayor's wife. And Chris Barry and the entire Barry family. He's been part of my family for decades.